To begin loaning Fiore's approach to the fight, it is important to begin with the posta, or golds. While many Hema practitioners get by using only one or two golds, they lose an aspect of fencing I personally find fascinating, strategy. In this video, I will go into Fiore's goal golds of the sword in two hands, as well as why I view posta as a critical aspect of fencing. Let's look at an example. We see the two most common golds in modern Hema, Vomtog and Posta Breve. Alpha is in Posta Breve, and Bravo is in Vomtog. They each picked one gold and stuck with it, giving their opponent plenty of time to think about how they will attack or defend. Essentially, Alpha is saying, I want to thrust, and Bravo is saying, I want to cut. They play around with Mejul until Bravo takes the initiative with a cut. Nothing really surprising or strategic happened. Now, let's compare this to some exceptional fencing by Alto Fama. Many of his actions are simply transitions from one gold to another to create a different kind of threat to his opponent. Not only does this not allow his opponent enough time to develop some clear plan of attack, in many cases it forces his opponent to change golds. Keeping his opponent uneasy allows Fama to play around with Mejul, probe his opponent's responses, and look for a window of opportunity to attack. This is not Fiore, but the same principle applies. Side note, both Alto Fama and his opponent, Masse Talaga, are exhibiting fantastic fencing. I just chose to focus on Fama for this example. Fiore's core golds for the sword in two hands each present different tactical options. Some of these positions he says are good to wait in, like Posta de Codalonga, while others like Fenestra he says it's best to move into and then quickly transition into another position in order to try and confuse your opponent. My point is to move from one position to another and read how your opponent responds to the changes until a situation presents itself which is tactically advantageous to you. You can flow from one gold to another to keep your opponent on edge and uncertain of how to attack you. You can transition from Longa, to Breve, to Baikono, to Fenestra, keeping the thread of the point while not sitting still and allowing your opponent time to develop a plan of attack against you. The other aspect of golds are that all of them are simply positions you may end up while fencing. You may start in Posta di Dona, throw a cut, and your opponent steps back and out of Mejul. Well, the momentum of your cut has placed you into Dente de Sinchiaro. So you should now know how to fence from this new position. You can move into Posta di Dona on the left. Well, maybe you decide to launch a thrust. Maybe it lands, or maybe your opponent steps back again, and now you're sitting in Posta Longa. You should therefore know how to fence from Posta Longa. So not only all posta or transitioning from posta to posta, your last chance to be strategic, all of these posta or positions you may find yourself in during an exchange, and knowing what tactical options are available to you from these positions can be very valuable. Now, I have attached a link to a PDF of all of Fiore's walks, but I will also list the main posta for the sword in two hands in this video for convenience. They are Posta di Dona, or Guard of the Lady, both on the left and the right, Tutta Porta de Ferro, or the Full Iron Door, which is very similar to Porta de Ferro Mezzana, the Middle Iron Door, Posta di Fenestra, Guard of the Window, Posta Longa, and Posta Breve, just Long Gold or Short Gold, Dente de Sinchiaro and Dente de Sinchiaro Mezzana, Bull's Tusk and Middle Bull's Tusk, Posta di Godalonga, or Long Tail, Posta di Bicorno, or Two Horned, and lastly, Posta di Corona, or the Crown Gold. These posta can be subcategorized as Stabla, Instabla, or Pulsativa. I will go into what this means in an upcoming video, as well as the detailed video for each of the posta. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you disagree with my interpretation, be sure to let me know in the comments section. Thank you.